Hello everyone and welcome to my predictions for the 2024 edition of AEW's Wrestle Dream. Our first match is on Zero Hour. We'll see Atlantis Jr. defending the Ring of Honor World Television Championship against Brian Cage. For this match, I don't see an upset and I think things will remain the same as Atlantis Jr. will retain his Ring of Honor Television Championship here. For me, this match feels like a showcase for Atlantis Jr. for more people to talk about him and get him more into the eye of the AEW fans. I think him and Brian Cage will just do that and we'll kick things off with Atlantis Jr. keeping his title here. So now on to match number two and that'll be for the AEW International Championship in a three-way match where we'll see Will Ospreay defend his title against Ricochet and Kanosuke Takeshita. Now for this match I can truly see any of the three participants winning and I believe there's arguments to be made that each person of how they could win and they should win but for me it boils down between Will Ospreay retaining and Takeshita taking the title. And the more I think about it, the more my mind changes. But I think the numbers game will play a factor here. And I think the new addition of Lance Archer will play a role. And I think we will have a new international champion. And it will be Kanosuke Takeshita winning here. If this were to be the result, I could see this being a team-up situation afterwards feud where Osprey, Fletcher, and Ricochet are all going to be somewhat joining together to try to take down the Don Callis family getting back at Takeshita. And I also think this could be the seeds planting for the Continental Classic where we could see one side of the Continental Classic being a group of Takeshita, Osprey, Ricochet, and Fletcher all doing battle going at it to maybe just maybe this would be the way we set up challengers for Takeshita later down the road and set up the inevitable clash with Kazuchika Okada. So now on to match number three and that'll be a two out of three falls match where we'll see Hologram take on the Beast Mortos. I think this will be a very fast paced one of the, like a quick 10 minute it's just craziness happening here some lucha libre and i think hologram will walk out with the win defeating moros as we all know hologram's been on a hell of a winning streak and i don't think you stop it here but i just don't know where you put hologram next i don't know if he fits into any of the title pictures as they are currently constructed and i think the inevitable feud with roosh is on the way and i think this match with moros is the way to set that up so now on to match number four. And match number four will be for the TNT Championship where we'll see Jack Perry defend the title against Katsuyori Shibata. To me, this match seems pretty straightforward with Perry calling out Shibata to be his old self like he was back in his New Japan days, like he was where he almost died in a match against Okada going for the IWGP Heavyweight Championship. I think Perry and him will have a hard-hitting match, and I think Jack Perry will retain his TNT title. I think the TNT title here with Perry could be set up in a good spot where it's just the open championship challenge title because I kind of like how that was back in the day and I think having Perry do that now is a good idea and kind of goes juxtaposed to his uh, elite teammates and kind of keeps him in the eye more and I don't think people have really been complaining that much about his title run so far with this more uh, active way they've been going with him as of late and I think that reign of the scapegoat will continue on Saturday night in Tacoma. So now on to match number five. And this will be a tag team match where we'll see MXM Collection take on the Acclaimed. For this match, everything is screaming out the Acclaimed are going to win. They're going to win here. They're going to defeat MXM. But I think the way to go here is for MXM to win. And this sets up a new challenger in the AEW tag team division who would be coming off of a win on a pay-per-view. And with the next pay-per-view being in Bowens and Caster's home kind of area, being in Newark, New Jersey, I could see that being the easy plug and play tag team match but I think you try something new here and you have MXM defeat the acclaimed and have them be the next challengers potentially for the AEW world tag team titles so now on to our next match and that'll be for the ring of honor world championship where we'll see Mark Briscoe defend his title against Chris Jericho now if you've seen any of the predictions videos for the past couple of months maybe in the past year I don't know you know my feelings on Chris Jericho being in this match and I'm hoping and I think Mark Briscoe will come out victorious victorious here and retain the ring of honor world championship here i just feel like with the stuff that jericho brought up briscoe has to get the win in this match and i just hope some way somehow the learning tree will learn to disappear for a little bit now so now on to match number seven and match number seven will be for the AEW world tag team titles where we we'll see the young bucks pulling the titles on the line against private party for this match there's a small part of me that thinks we could see a title change here but it just feels like this young 
Young Bucks reign will not end here, and I think they'll be retaining the tag team titles, defeating Private Party. Well, I think a tag team title swap would inject this division with some more juice and help it get back up to where people believe it should be. I just don't think the time is now for Private Party. It just feels like the way things have been portrayed on this, that they won't do this. I think Top Flight's gonna be itching to get into the mix here and take on the Bucks after they lost the uh, triple threat to not get the chance that we're currently talking about and i think a match between the bucks and mxm could be pretty decent and i think the stuff leading into the match could lead to like some callbacks and maybe just maybe the bucks get turned into their old cell so now on to our next match. And that'll be for the AEW Women's World Championship, where Mariah May will be putting the title on the line against Willow Nightingale. In this match, I believe the Mariah May era will continue as she will defeat Willow Nightingale here. I just think the inevitable clash between Mina Shirakawa and Mariah May is on the horizon, and I think that could be the next pay-per-view match for this Women's Championship. And I think this match at Wrestle Dream will be a good setup for that, where we tie off the Owen final from this year, to where we revisit that, and Mariah May May has the same result where she defeats Willow Nightingale more than likely on her own or maybe Mina somehow screws up getting in the way when she doesn't want to if she's there and then I think that sets up the celebration to where the celebration turns into Mariah May knocking out Mina Shirakawa and turning on her and that sets up our match for full gear in November for this AEW Women's World Championship. So now on to match number nine. And this will be the open challenge that Darby Allen laid out where Darby Allen will be taking on Brody King. Now this all feels like this is a rebuild Darby Allen for his inevitable run to the AEW World Championship here. And I think that starts here at Wrestle Dream with him defeating Brody King in this match. Now while I can see the story potentially being told that Darby Allen's t lost a step where he got duped into putting his title match on the line at Grand Slam and he's just not fully paying attention to everything and his head's all over over the place and a loss of Brody King I think could exasperate that and show us that. I think the more likely thing is Darby Allen going at his ghost from the past leading into his inevitable clash for the world title later down the road maybe even next year to where he'll win the title and we'll finally see Darby Allen as the face of AEW. So now on to our co-main event of the evening and that'll be hangman adam page taking on switchblade jay white now this match to me feels more of a toss-up than i think most people are believing heading into saturday and that's why i'm going with the upset i think pick here and i think switchblade jay white will be defeating hangman adam page in this match i don't think hangman will be currently in the mix for the world title and i think a loss here will keep him out of that whereas if he won i think he goes right back into the world title scene i also think this would be a big win for Jay White coming back from injury and this can keep the feud going. He says he has two people he's got to take out and go against and Hangman's number one. I feel like number two is Adam Cole and we've been hearing he could potentially be on the mend and be back very soon and I think him beating Hangman here, maybe getting another match either at the next pay-per-view or on a Dynamite would happen and then we'd see the return of the new devil Adam Cole to take on Jay White for what Cole did while he was behind that mask. And now on to the main event of the evening. This will also be the short hype video of the pay-per-view. Come back tomorrow at 9 a.m. Eastern to see that. And this will be Brian Danielson putting his AEW World Heavyweight Championship on the line against John Moxley. The only question I have for this match is how. How is this going to end? What kind of way are we going to end this with? Will anyone be debuting, appearing, returning? Will someone turn on someone? But I feel like the result is pretty much straight forward we all thought this brian danielson world title run wouldn't be long and i think this ends here at wrestle dream as john moxley becomes the new aew world heavyweight champion here we all had this feeling that the brian run wouldn't be long and we just didn't know who would end it and it seems very clear to me that moxley is going to be the guy to end this and i think just how the whole like cult like leader thing mox has been doing rears its head here and i think we could see like a reveal or a joining of this group to what it could become and what its new name could potentially be here at the end of the show could the airport affair be realized here or could it just be wheeler yuda joining back up with the other two-thirds of the trios champions and moxley realizing that the end of dynamite where brian was just yesing while wheeler was on the ground after he got 
got his ass handed to him like hey maybe this guy wasn't the guy i thought he was could that be the way that this ends could that be the way that brian's title run ends here with wheeler being the guy to end it for him basically but i feel like regardless of how it's done i think john mox would be walking out with the gold here on saturday night so that'll do it for my predictions for the 2024 edition of wrestle dream trying to make these shorter so leave your thoughts in the comment section below shorts will keep pumping out every day for the seeable future tomorrow at 9 a.m eastern the short for the mox versus brian main event will be uploaded and if you like this video hit the like button if you like what i'm doing on this channel want to see more hit that subscribe button come back tomorrow for the short and thanks for watching